We have a voicemail number. That number is 219 David P. Here's a really important topic via voicemail. The YouTube recommendation algorithm. Take a listen to this. Hey, David, a uh, long time listener. Um, just had a, a quick question for you. Uh, kind of a philosophical question. Uh, with the YouTube uh, ad algorithm, it's incredibly easy for, you know, big right wing audience or uh, right wing um, groups uh, to buy up ad space and uh, blast across and take over political channels. So, for example, if I watch, you know, go to watch a clip of your show, I have to go through a barrier of right-wing advertisements. If I go and watch certain, um, you know, atheist channels, for example, I have to go through religious ads before I can get to the content. Yeah, so there's two different things going on here. There's two things going on here. Number one, Despite claims of left wing bias on all of these platforms, um, Facebook and also YouTube regularly recommend extreme right wing and conspiracy content, even to people who only are deliberately consuming left wing stuff. I hear it all the time from my audience. That's number one. But number two, the right buys ads on YouTube in a way that the left doesn't. And I've talked about this before, and the right does this in a lot of different areas. They are willing to sort of ha uh, have these loss leaders where they say, even if we don't make money by spending money in this way, we're going to do it to bring people in, put people's attention in front of our right wing content. And so even when you watch left wing content, you often get ads for right wing publishers. Why? because the right wing publishers are disproportionately buying pre roll ads on YouTube. And this is part of why they often are doing so well in terms of ground game, because they're willing to train up college grads. Right. We talk about the think tanks and the other organizations that they're willing to lose money training people and getting people into their orbit. And YouTube ad spend is just another example of that. I don't know what we can do to change it. I don't know. We have a great bonus show for you today. We'll talk about the new CDC guidelines for quarantine and isolation under Omicron. We will talk about a judge reconsidering a hundred and ten year sentence for a big uh, uh, truck accident that killed four people. And we will also talk about a controversial decision by Tesla. All of those stories and more on today's bonus show. Sign up at joinpacman.com and get instant access. We'll see you then.